The question is whether calcium hydroxide, that's CaOH2, is soluble or insoluble in water. The short answer is that it's slightly soluble in water. Some of it will dissolve. Not a lot, but some will. So there's a few ways that we can know that. We could look at the solubility rules here and use those to figure out the solubility of calcium hydroxide. So we go down our rules, and here, most hydroxides, that OH, that's the hydroxide. When it's bonded to a metal, OH is our hydroxide, only slightly soluble. There are some exceptions, but calcium is not one of the exceptions. So calcium hydroxide should be slightly soluble in water. There's another way that we could figure that out, and that's to look at a solubility chart. Here's a solubility chart. The positive ions, they're on the left, and the negative, the anions are on top. And then we go down, and here is calcium right here, Ca2+. And we're looking for the hydroxide group that's right here. So we're going to go over and down, and that SS means that it's slightly soluble. So when you put calcium hydroxide in water, some of it will dissolve, not a lot, but some of it will split apart, dissociate into its ions. So you'll have some Ca2 plus ions, calcium ions, and then hydroxide ions, OH minus. In fact, you'll have two hydroxide ions for every one calcium ion. There is one more way we could figure out whether calcium hydroxide was soluble or insoluble in water. We could just put some in water and see what happens, maybe stir it around. Based on our rules, based on our chart here, we would find that some of it would dissolve just a little bit. It would be slightly soluble. In fact, when that happens, when we put calcium hydroxide in water, it's called lime water. This is Dr. B answering the question whether CaOH2 is soluble or insoluble. It's kind of in between. It's slightly soluble. Thanks for watching.